Should be a good matchup between these two squads. No Jordan Lloyd for the Raptors 905. He is with the big club as they take on the Indiana Pacers. Swing the tip and they're looking to feed it inside. They got a mismatch here with Hicks. Hicks is a much bigger body yeah. than there Collinsworth. That's going to be trouble for them. Little revolver action to swing back to Allen. Rejects the screen from Warney and settles for the floater. Really well played. Allen, an affiliate player with the Knicks, so you know he's got some talent. And on the fast break, little tough opportunity for Warney. Familiar with Knicks fans because he played at Stony Brook. And there he is at the left hand. He's had a couple of good games. But this young man led Stony Brook to their first NCAA tournament, scoring 43 points yeah. in the American East Conference final game. He's a player as Adams, another player with a tough finish. Great athletic move right there. Refrigerator frame made it very difficult. Now he tries to use that frame on the offensive end, drive and kick to Adams, open three, bring it up. Into one. I do remember we still have to hear from the third member of our team, Amy Otterbur, a man in the sideline where I usually am. Shouts out to Gareth Wheeler, who is not here today. He got open and buried the trade ball. Gambling on the defensive end punishes the 905. You see another pick and roll opportunity. Again, I spoke with Jello before the game. The defense stood its ground, both hands up, verticality. A lot of hands in there. Picks going up for two. It's a good extra pass by Malachi, though. Good recognition. Hicks, he can do it inside, and apparently he can do it outside. Um, something I took away from my research on this young man, he said that he's now able to take the gamble as the Knicks get the putback layup from Irvin. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, when you play overseas, technically your lifestyle is, you know, much more relaxed. So you, you do have the ability to save up money neither of those things, so it's a little bit more difficult for him to match up with someone like that. Uh, welcome back, Malcolm Miller, who's just checked back into the ball game. That's a good sighting for the you know, for the 905. And another good sighting, Richardson with the long two. Allen Lloyd up with the big club, Felder, a huge loss to this group. And, uh, ooh, Cook challenged at the rim by Hicks, doing it on both ends of the court. Wiggs brings it across the timeline. In the corner to Balkman, the headband for three, back rim, no good. Zimmerman all alone. Left hand slam, just under a minute and a half to go. Kabongo with the big on him, a series of hesitations, driving kick to Pryor. The triples up. Great execution offensively there, right there. Mike getting all the way into the paint. It did on that possession. That's probably why so many guys score on me. On, on what? That's probably why so many guys score on me. Uh, that looked like another offensive foul. Mike not getting the benefit of the doubt from the refs as he was shed, swing, swing. It's all right. That's good positional Ooh. defense there. Pryor with the great head fake leads to an open shot for Watford. Great job. Great job. Great ball movement there on Selfish. So you see he's a steady point guard, and he's a, pretty much a stat stuffer also. Cabongo splits the pair as the three is banged home for the Knicks. At the rim, and Allen... Warren Ward's favorite, Westchester Nick. Yep. On the push to Wiggs. Splash. Fuck it. It's really utilizing the length of this lineup. He wanted to show cuts through the key, getting from wing to wing and getting that ball zipped around. Guys. <laughs> Allen probing off of the screen from Goldman. Goldman with the open triple. Fuck that it. looked good the whole way. Richardson and Boucher about to check in. So that should potentially change as Watford, another strong three-point yep. shooter, bangs the shortest three. They were looking for Richardson off a pin-down screen from Boucher. It wasn't there, so they get back into the offense. And they've got Boucher versus Barney. Chris Boucher with Barney's hand directly in his face. Oh, Amy lobbying for a 10-day. Wow. It's true, though. She can shoot. Okay, she I can. can. Um, there it is. Hicks and one. Legit foul. That's right. what I would use against you if I was playing. Okay, well, give me, uh, all right, fine, whatever. <laughs> oh, the whirling dervish finger English. Much from him, <laughs> from him. We don't see him attack the rim like that, so great job. The floater from Allen right in the face of Watford, though. A stat stuffer. Adams got the big hicks on him, pulls it back for the triple. Count it. And he probes off of the screen from Boucher. Picks up Watford the finds corner. Boucher. Oh, the yeah, and one. that's got to be an end one. Well done. Great job. With the rebound, and you know what he does? The second he gets the rebound, every time 
He's going to deny the point guard the ball, and he's going to probe on his own. The triple threat jab. I think the green shoes help sell the dat jab. I think that's why he went with it. Oh, great defense. defense. Yeah. Hands. And now Pryor on the break. Oh! Wheels up! Pryor! Ah, uh, it's demolition, man. It's on y'all if y'all want to sound like that. But okay. I'm not saying it. That's fine. That's All right. Fine. <laughs> Westchester going back to the matchup they like so much, which is Hicks on everybody. <laughs> and they get Warney off a couple of screens to lose Boucher inside. Tries to meet Warney at the apex. Tough jump hook right there. Dangerous play from Kablongo, as yeah. we're calling him apparently. Mike Kablongo. Which is so no good. The rebound to Dwayne Notice, and he's looking around for some 905 players. He finds Collinsworth. Collinsworth. Well, nice move by Chris Collinsworth. Take on Collinsworth's take. A little bit of indecision here by Dwayne Notice. Didn't really know what he was doing. Chris Collinsworth got the ball. A little bit of a step right there. Step over. Yeah. If it looks really good, four. James Harden. <laughs> Malachi Richardson. Oh, my goodness. Here's Richardson's bomb. Again, a little bit of offensive indecision there. Mike just getting rid of it, and Malachi set in his feet. Letting that ball go. It looked good from the time, you know, it left his hand. If I shoot 50% in the game, that's a great game. So Malachi has all the right to get the ball as he's doing right now. Great pass. Great finish. Four wheels up. Number 10, Dwayne Notice. And, and Boucher. Steal Back by on Boucher. the break. Take off. Woo! Welcome to the show, folks. And on the other end, he gets the steal. Bernie knows he's not chasing that guy. I like a Raptors reference, but it's a new updated version oh, okay. of the Raptors. You I like see. it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll that? go with it. I'll never say it, but I'm, I'm with you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, the floater from Warney inside. Great, great leadership right there. Getting back. Collinsworth to notice. Notice the series of fakes, and he finds Collinsworth. Great pass. Good recognition. Making something out of nothing there. Cutter through the key. Balkman loses it. Cutter Cut through the key. Pass. Notice. Misses it. But who's got your back? Boucher. Going no call on that one. I want the game to be a little bit rougher, but as a 905 fan, I'm saying thank you, ref. Adams, perfect from three, and he's keeping it that way. This young man can ball. That's what the 905 have been able to do. You take a look at this as a... Uh, oh. Warney, Warney, Boucher underneath the rim, so you couldn't block that shot. And then you lose Deng Adel. So what you do is you go, okay, fine, we're going to ship Kadeem Latin and Yannick Murray's rights as uh, the open layup for Garrett. Wise words of the sixth god, know yourself. <laughs> I'm not sure that's where Hicks wants to be dribbling the ball. Knowing himself real well, that's Chris Boucher with the knowledge of self. You leave him open, he will bang that. As soon as he closes out, that ball's gone. Three-pointer. Six of 11 from the floor with 17 points for Boucher. Back door there, and then he might out. Allen selfishly going all the way to the himself. Oh, he, he tried to out-muscle. Irvin, two points. He he destroyed the 905 in the previous home game. They played January 3rd. Point difference, 6.53 to go in the third quarter. Inside the post, they go to Watson versus Richardson. Turn around to the baseline. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> Boucher, great, great pick and roll there, no dribble. Wow, that was that was a really athletic play by Boucher. He, you know, realizing that he's not in Space Jam. <laughs> All right, Allen rejects the screen. Warney, the floater. There we go. That's better. That's more within his range. Decided to move it in. <laughs> Smart idea. Richardson. Oh, the quick trigger. That's his range. That's his range. He for used sure. each and every inch of that orange rim. I'll take it. I don't have it, but I'll take it. Uh-oh, notice the great defensive stop on the break. Oh, the chase down block, a la Tayshaun Prince had a couple, though. He did, a la LeBron. Man, that's oh. a clean one, though. But well, there you go, the Kempe Mutombo. That's a clean down. one, though. Crash Boucher, and he did stands in the key and says, come on, dog. Running their offense, they've got the big Zimmerman floating around the free throw line. I knew they were gonna go to him. Yeah, it's good basketball. I mean, they Boucher has to go wide. to the corner. Malcolm Miller back in the game, coming off that shoulder injury. Much happy to have him. But even happier to have Chris Boucher. Open shot for yeah. the 905. You can't turn that down. Only I can. <laughs> Zimmerman. He's not turning that down either. Blue chipper. And they're feeding Zimmerman inside. It's a good matchup for Boucher. See what he's doing here. Well, Zimmerman oh, feels like bucket. it's a good matchup for him. 
Yeah. For Hicks once again inside this against is, uh, Pryor. No, against uh, Watford. Matchup problem for them, and he gets the lucky bounce. He has been unstoppable all night long. A little bit further out from you know what he's used to, and make him take tough shots at the end of the shot clock. Nothing beforehand. No, what? and nothing easy around the basket. Warren? That's What's fine. Popping? Hey, no come, problem. Come on and kill the pressure. Jim Amalalela in that quarter break timeout basically told his guys not too much defensive adjustments. Chester's going to continue to pound it in this efficiently the entire fourth quarter, but it was the offense he focused on. He wants this lineup to attack the rim. Even that shot, you're not in the paint. And they, developed, they built this team in a different direction. Yeah, yeah, and, and as you see here, Ooh. Adams again poking from outside. I like him a lot. Wiggs using the Zimmerman screen to kick out the Balkman, the triples up. And it's good for Andre Agassi Balkman. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's the official name of that area. You learn something new every day. The dunk box. Define the dunk box. Are we talking from Elk? right where Adams was standing? Watford, Miller, and Cook Jr. For the 905, the step back Jimmy for Pryor. Splizzash. In the post they go. That's they a little like too easy. Matchup. A little too easy of a catch. Now he gets Watford off of his feet. A little too easy of a catch, and that's what happens. Most of the time they end up trading buckets with Westchester, yeah. or they can't get enough stops, as you see here. Yeah, and, and, and taking the ball out of bounds. Shoot mid-range jumpers. Yeah, the 905 curly. As the dunk goes down for Cook Jr., they needed that. Easy bucket. 17 taken by Westchester. So you see where they're going with the ball. Yeah. Everything is towards the rim, in the in the low block, mid-range pull-ups, and you see it's working. As Watson with the traditional headband, the Jimmy. So why don't you ever wear a headband? Uh, my forehead's huge. I should wear a headband. Boucher with the dunk. I bet, I'm going to wear a headband next broadcast. Exploit the same matchups they have, but in the painted area. Well, that helps. There's some exploitation. You're into exploitation? Call oh, him. Adams. Uses the screen here. Instead of, so excuse me, rejects the screen. Draws Warner over. Seiku's a little too late. Seiku waits a little too late. I felt like Adams had the shot there, but maybe they made a decision. The decision was made. We're going to dunk it. Great decision by Puck. And despite being 6'7", 6'8". Right, undersized. Still, still talented. Fine. Shot challenger. Good box out. And Hicks, Hicks just being a beast. Here's the sky to the rebound. And 905 are going the other way down seven with four to go. And now they are down four with 445 on the clock. Uh, well, hey, yeah, yeah, you tried. You tried. You tried. You you tried. tried. Yeah, you did. Go team Adam. Ah, the leaner. Again, though, for Garrett. Where is he going to score? Oh, was, no fouled, but was fouled twice on that possession, in my opinion. But Adams, and he stands there statue style. One block shot tonight to go with that, and five assists. No assists in the first half. But again, where where is Westchester going? And that's been the theme of the night. Adams probing off the screen from Richardson. Right hand dribble drive with the contact. Oh. Yeah. Junior coming back to bite the 905 in terms of maybe too many threes, but. Driving kick, a rare three from the Knicks. Back out. Down the stretch just last minute, the 905 just did a poor job rebounding, turned the ball over, and they just shot themselves in the foot. They had a chance to win the game, and unfortunately, it didn't go our way tonight. So, but there's a lot to learn from this game.